We're pleased to be joined by Randy Peraz, who was a, a, a Democratic candidate for the Senate against John McCain last year and is a civil rights activist. And, and Randy, I want to start with what's been in the news over this last couple of days. John McCain uh, suggesting that uh, it could be illegal immigrants who have caused the, the wildfires that are still raging in Arizona right now. Did you take this as a direct suggestion? He has said that he didn't mean to suggest this fire or these fires. But did you take this as, as a direct suggestion that he, he was saying that this is what's going on in Arizona right now is the fault of immigrants? Absolutely. It was his, uh, he had an opportunity to really just basically focus on the real issues that was taking place in terms of trying to deal with the tragedy of the fire. And he chose to make a political statement saying that there was substantial evidence that, you know, undocumented immigrants are the ones who started this fire. I mean, he could have said, he could have said Boy Scouts of America started this fire. And when you, when you claim there's substantial <laughs> evidence, you need to be able to produce that. And he did not do that. Now, um, he did not explain that for this, what he was saying was for this fire specifically, but are there instances, are there documented instances where, as he says, cook fires or campfires have, have gone on to cause burns in other parts of the state? Is there any truth to this? Has anybody ever talked about this before? Well, I'm sure common sense could lead anyone to believe that there's certain situations happen that cause these fires to, especially when it's human fault at, at, it's involved. <laughs> But this, this is the context where John McCain had a, had a national stage and he chose to really play politics. Not only did he say, say there was substantial evidence that undocumented folks did this, he then made a request for more money for border security. So now the fires are about border security, not about, you know, and this is before the report, I'm sure there's a report in, in progress, it has yet to even come out yet. And John McCain is now using, playing politics again to basically say anything to really get his issue out there, which is now you know, the issue of undocumented immigrants and illegal immigration. Now, John McCain was on Good Morning America today. Take a look at his response. I want to ask you what you think about this. He was asked directly by George Stephanopoulos about this comment, and he wasn't backing down. Take a look. Congressman Flake and I were briefed right at just before that press conference by the Forest Service official that this same situation exists. So, frankly, I'm not sure what all this controversy is about. Well, what do you think of that? I mean, a Forest Service official, he is saying, is, is said that this is a, at least a contributing factor here. Doesn't that seem to back up what John McCain is saying? Uh, not at all. Not only that, he, he said a Forest Service official, does that person have a name? Do they have a title? Who are they accountable to? And what evidence were they using? So if this, and then John McCain, based on what he said. Do you think he, he was making it up? I mean, you think I he think was he making it up? I think he made a series over. I, mean, I think he made a serious overstatement. I think right now he's trying to, um, you know, backtrack what somebody said rather than just being, you know, a, a, uh, someone who can just say, look, I made a mistake. He's trying to cover it up. And finally, I think his office this morning issued some sort of retraction saying that, you know, it wasn't a, he wasn't uh, applying the statement to what's taking place currently. So, again, this is just about irresponsible behavior by a senior Senate president, this, the senior senator who ran for, you know, United States president. He is not a novice. He's a seasoned politician upwards of three decades. So this type of behavior, this type of comments is just really kind of surprising to come from someone like John McCain. Well, I'm, I'm, we're curious, well, what happened to the Straight Talk Express on this issue? Well, in fact, I was going to take you back there, you know, g going back, you know, a few years when it was John McCain who was on the side of trying to find some sort of compromise on, on immigration. Now he's not, he's not up for a re-election again. The thought was maybe he was going to go back to that John McCain. Do you think that the, the, the John McCain of 2000 is, is gone forever, or is there a chance that maybe he could work on some of these issues in the same way he did uh, before his 2008 campaign? I mean, I think your guess is as good as mine. I think this last couple of years he's gone through a serious political makeover. We're not even sure which John McCain is going to get up to speak. He used to be someone who was very practical, very someone who could speak to Democrats and Republicans and independents. To really, really, he was at one point interested in solving the problem of immigration. Now he's trying to really blame everything on immigrants. I mean, it's, they go from blaming the economy on immigrants, the housing downfall on immigrants. Now fires are being planned on immigrants. And the thing is, he has no evidence to put forward to the American public to make that type of statement. Well, what do you think that's about? Do you have any... Uh, Ro uh, Grijalva, the congressman there, said that recently he said that the, the, the culture in Arizona is as toxic as I've ever seen it. You, you agree with that statement? This is. Uh Absolutely. We're currently involved in an effort to recall Senate President Russell Pierce. And then if you look at um, in the backdrop, this climate is politically charged and sensitive. And so when you when you fan the flames of fear and intolerance, when you make statements that aren't substantiated, you know, you really are appealing to the, to the, to the worst in people rather than really trying to get at the heart of what took place. We had some of the most serious fires taking place in Arizona. And John McCain could have really used the, 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 pul the pulpit for something else, but he chose to make, play politics. And it's unfortunate that this is the type of leadership we're getting from our senior senator from Arizona.
Randy, very quickly, I want to want to we want to run in a second, but I want to get your take on Gabby Giffords and the potential for running for Senate. Are Democrats kind of in a holding pattern until they hear from her or her people? Is this her seat to, to run for and kind of her first right of first refusal before anyone else can make a move? Um, I think right now most Democrats, at least the ones I talked to, they're, they're just they're just excited about some of the news they're hearing about her recovery. Um, we're not sure where, where she's exactly at. We're not sure she's even interested in running for another office. I think we're, folks are just kind of excited the fact she should be coming home soon and doing, or she's doing outpatient um, therapy. So I think that's for the most part. There are, I think, a couple other Democrats who've already expressed interest in, and you know, there's there maybe even be a pr competitive primary. But at this point, I think no, right. we're not. I don't think a lot of us are sitting back and waiting for that. We're just happy that she's she's alive and and she's and she's maybe able to serve out her term as a congresswoman. All right, Randy Peraz, civil rights advocate. We appreciate you being here on Top Line. Talk a little about uh, Senator McCain in Arizona. Thanks so much. Thank you.